HR professionals in a unionized environment often rely on the expertise of their legal partners in order to foster positive labor relations. I spoke with Vicki Scott, president of Scott & Associates, about HR's role in fostering positive labor relations. What is HR's role in fostering positive labor relations? They should be actually the, the person, the coaching not only the manager and how to resolve um, workplace conflict or to assess it and coach them so to minimize the conflict but also try to bring some some respectful resolve to the situation so that there is they should be solution based as it as it comes to trying to resolve any types of grievances but also coaching the manager and how to minimize um, the the exposure because of the conflict that has been built and try to minimize any future risk for, for, for future conflict and what can they do to minimize risk it could be through coaching training education um, not taking ownership because they're not managers in the organization quite often that's what happens um, HR takes the ownership to managing the people on this side and it's actually it should be the managers being taught how to best manage the workplace and also coach and counsel. Uh, quite often once we get a resolve or a grievance decision everybody's upset because nobody ever wins. There's a win-lose at a grievance settlement board obviously but there's there's no real win. The, the worker is disappointed most probably because they didn't get everything that they wanted and if the employer lost they're obviously going to be disappointed because there's going to be a, a cost or whatever that they're going to have to deal with. Nobody sits down after the fact and does like a, a debriefing. What could we have done better? What can, what can we do to make sure that this never ever happens again? I don't believe a lot of our human resources professionals understand the importance of their role and function as it relates to managing the risk of conflict. They come in after the fact, but they could be very instrumental in minimizing. What challenges are you seeing in today's workplaces in terms of managing labor relations? It's, it's more situational stuff, it's more behavioral stuff in the workplace that's created, and it's more one-offs. It's not anything collective. I find it's more like um, harassment stuff, or the and I don't believe anybody's out there harassing people more than what they did two years ago. I believe it's, 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 um, it's, it's an area where people are now finding uh, where they can resolve other issues. So even when we do workplace investigations, and we've done, we do a lot, we don't find grounds for harassment or discrimination, but we do find that there's a relationship or behavioral issue that needs to be repaired. So it's bad communication we're finding. Those are the types of things that we're seeing. And what do you think is bringing on this change? I think there's fear. I, I think there's a lot of fear out there. People are fearful of their jobs. The economy is, is, has a direct impact on, on workplace behavior. Um, there's fear of job loss. There, and it's, it's not fear that that individual is going to lose their job. And employers are not threatening to lose the job um, or to cut the jobs because the work is still important and still needed at some, unless they're shutting down. There's also the fear of, of um, rocking the boat in an organization too right now. They just don't want to rock the boat. And so you're seeing a lot of consensus bargaining versus wage bargaining. It doesn't matter if you're in the private or public sector today. It doesn't matter if they're mandated by law, how they can bargain. It's just we're seeing a lot more consensus bargaining. And so the concern is we're now at an age because the workforce is aging. Um, we're worried about our pensions. We're worried about our benefits. We're worried about job security. So when people are worried about those things, it's pretty much a status quo. Ma management teams and employers aren't rocking the boat in those areas either.